Welcome back to the Hampton Roads Show, and we're all about starting 2014 off with a lot less clutter. Many of you are making a resolution to get organized. Amy Volk with Simplified Living is here now with five organizing projects you can do this weekend. Yep, this weekend. Happy New Year to you, you Amy. as well, so, 2014. Yeah, are you a big uh, resolution type person? No, I pick a theme word for the year. A theme word, and what yeah. is that theme? Don't say organize. No, it's be home. So I'm going to be intentional about um, spending more time at home okay. and, and our whole family's spending more time at home So together. to be at home and to really make the most of it, you have to be comfortable and you have to feel good about what you got. Absolutely. I think most people, like, the first thing they do is they look around their house and say, you know what, things have got to change. Yes, or a lot of people, it's so overwhelming, they avoid it. So they leave and mm -hmm. go out, go shopping or go do stuff. And, and we want you to love being home. But if you go out shopping and you come back, you got to come back to More that, that the clutter. That and you know what, everybody, especially after the holidays, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard. It's hard to know where to get started, and so that's why I wrote these five things you can organize okay, this five weekend. This weekend, don't do them all. Pick two, maybe even three mm -hmm. that'll work for you. But let's start with number one, and that's the refrigerator. You and I were talking about mm -hmm. it. It gets a mess over the holidays because you have extra food, extra people. So tackle the refrigerator, and all I tell you to do is start to throw out expired condiments or things that you maybe got were leftovers and got tucked in the back of the fridge. Just pull those out. You don't have to clean the whole thing. Wipe down what looks obviously dirty, but get rid right. of expired condiments, expired foods, and maybe wipe down a couple shelves. Doesn't have right. to be a big deal. So that's number one. Now I told you that I went outside, did the one out in the garage because that huge. one, yeah, the one out in the garage <laughs> usually gets is a little worse off than the one inside. Sometimes. Yeah, I agree. And get we, them both. we get them both if you can, right. and get just get the junk and the clutter out of the right. the refrigerator. I know a lot of folks still have up their tree. I still have my tree up. But what we, a lot of people haven't done is throw out all the wrapping. It just kind of gets shoved back under the tree. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't already done it, get all your wrapping, all that old tissue, the bows, get all of that stuff put away, and get the gifts from under the tree put away. Like, find a place to put all of that stuff. So that's number two. Okay, number two. But that comes with a lot of boxes. What do you do with your boxes? Um, I, that's a whole piece on organizing gift wrap. But I just say, if you, if you don't have a system yet, just get a big tub, dump all of your wrapping accoutrements in a big bin and slap a lid on it. You can always use it year round. You, you can and you can tuck it anywhere. Okay, kitchen and Christmas boxes. Number three. Clean out the interior of your car. I suggest everyone get some kind of trunk organizer. This is a really cute girly mm -hmm. one. Grab a trash bag. Get all the trash out of there. Get the shoes out of there, the mittens, scarves, gloves that have stayed in there, all of the junk that gets um, stuck in your car. That's number three. Number four, go through t at least two piles of paper. So you might have more, but that's right. okay. Tackle two this weekend. And then number five is if you're a girl, clean out your purse. If you're a guy. If you're a guy, it's the wallet. The wallet or right. your man bag, briefcase, whatever yeah. you have. No but man bag here. All the girls, dump everything mm -hmm. out, get all the junk out of there. <laughs> Craig has his wallet's bad. Um, and get um, his purse. And get your, if you're a guy, dump everything out of your wallet. You got a new wallet, so you've already done right. this. Right, right. And if you have a briefcase, it's a good time to dump it out. Okay, so so for women out there, the purse, that's something that, I mean, yeah, I mean you, this could have, is, you could probably do that like twice a year at least. At least, I hope right. you're doing it twice a year because it's a big mystery at the bottom of a lot of our purses. Just like in the back of that refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. So pick two or three. Some of these you're already going to have done. You may have already done your wrapping, but I bet you have a couple piles. Absolutely. And everyone's fridge could use a little TLC right now. <sighs> okay, like we said, it's, right, it's just right after the holidays, right. right after Christmas. Some people get their Christmas tree and all their Christmas stuff out right away. Right. What is the rule of thumb? I mean, it's really individual, isn't it? So it is individual. A lot of people like to have it up right after Thanksgiving. Right. And then um, on my Facebook page my, uh, for Simplified Living, we had this big uh, discussion with a lot of people about when do you take it down? And a mm -hmm. lot but a lot of people wrote in that they take it down after Epiphany, which it happens on the 6th. Um, so if that is you, take it down, take all of your Christmas stuff down after the 6th. Mine's going to come down this weekend. Right. I like with, to leave it up. most people. Most people, I think, will do it this what weekend. What about a rule of thumb for those lights out there, those Christmas lights? Yeah, they need to come down, like, in the next couple days. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I have a neighbor who tends to uh, leave, leave them, up, really leave them up a long time, but that's, you know, they love them, and so I get that. But they need to come down. After this weekend, it's really not appropriate right. anymore. Well, probably not. So there's always somebody <laughs> on the block. I've been that person one time. That's leave right. them up a little bit too long. But, you know, some of our, our military families leave them up until the military person comes home. So give them a little grace. Maybe one beautiful trip. 
country, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. All right. So if you want to get in touch with Amy Volk from Simplified Living today and uh, find out how you can get like, your life organized, log on to simplifiedlivingtoday.com. We'll also link all of her information on our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. Happy New Year, Amy. Happy New Year.